everybody. Today we got some more level six gear I'm gonna go over. It's getting cold out there, so it's now it's time for dry suit season. These are a couple options from level six. We have the Emperor, this is their newer dry suit. Comes in at $1,100, and I'll go over each one in more detail in a second. And this is the Odin, this, this has been out for a little longer. This comes in at $1,000, both good options. But one might be a little better than the other for what we do, whitewater kayaking. But if you're somebody else watching this, uh, sea kayaks or just flatwater kayaks in the wintertime, fishes, that kind of stuff, one might be better for you also. Okay, we're gonna go over the Odin first, and I will put back in both of these on so you can see what they look like. These are both smalls. And go check the level six website out for sizing. Anyway, so this is a small Odin. And the main difference between the two that you'll see is Odin has a front zip where the Emperor has the back zip, and we'll kind of go back and forth here on these two, obviously, too. That's one big reason. So, if you're going by yourself a lot, sometimes the back zip can be hard to get to around your back here. You gotta kind of reach for it and that kind of thing. You can put a little extra string on it to make it a little easier. The other main difference you're gonna see on the elbows and knees on the Odin here, you can see it's just kind of the three ply material. It's a little extra padding on that. But if you come over here to the Emperor, you can see it's really that rough kind of material that's used in case you put your elbows on rocks and that kind of stuff. Abras abrasion resistance, I guess you would call it. And then it's down here on the knees, same thing. And this one, you, again, it's more or less the same material throughout. Where on the Emperor, you have that nice, really abrasive material there that keeps the dry suit from you know, getting cuts in and stuff like that if you're going over rocks. You can also see here in the neck area, again, it's that same, they add that same abrasion resistance material here right in the neck area on both sides where that's not on this one. But another difference you'll see here is the Odin has these kind of side pockets here. You want to put your hands in them. They are a little fleece thermal insulated. You do want to stick your hands in there, get your hands warm. Those are on both sides. You want to store something. You know, if you're whitewater kayak, and you probably wouldn't want to do that as much since you're in your boat. This is, uh, I think this is more made for, you know, sea kayak and flat water kayak and all that kind of stuff, but you can use it for whitewater kayak and absolutely. And over here, the difference is, again, you don't see these side pockets, but you do have this right here, which is thermally insulated, so you can quickly, your life jacket should fit over that, and that should go right in there with your hands there. So this is Odin, again, it's a front zip. You wanna put a little lubrication on here, and I'm pretty sure they give you some with it. If not, just a little Vaseline would fine on the zipper. That might have been on this one. I haven't worn this one, but. So again, front zips are made to get in in the front. So again, this is a small, I'm 5'9", about 150 pounds-ish, something like that. And typically, I don't wear a bunch of layers, so I'd rather have a smaller suit that fits a little snugger than a baggy suit. So I, I typically went, wear thin layers. I'm not going kayaking past probably 32 degrees anyway, so. Usually I'll have just a thin kind of thermal layer on. All right, so I got this thing on basically and just shut it so you can pull down on your front zip here. Make sure that zipper gets all the way there. This folds down nicely. And there you go. So obviously if you have your skirt on, you can tighten this up for your waist. I do like that, it's separate. And then you put your skirt on and you got this. One thing I do like about level six is these actually pull and tighten the material around your, your skirt and life jacket. Most other, dry top dry suits, they don't have this kind of elastic band here that tightens around your waist. I do really like that from level six. And all this stuff is pretty similar to every other dry suit you see, you know. You got your gaskets in here, and then you fold and shut. And they, they call theirs the British latex gaskets. They do have the nice three-ply material all around here and reinforce, of course, on your elbows. And then the socks here. So when you have a dry suit on, if you didn't know this, you want to just pull a little crease right there, get in the ball, you can get in the water and get all the air out. So 
but you want to have a little room you know you're going to shove that in a shoe there or something so you want a little extra space there you don't want your toes to get all cramped up and there you go it's nice and snug like I said it's a little tight in the inseam here but the medium on me was super baggy like I had like that much left on the legs so that wouldn't have worked for me so again the level six runs a little bit bigger so check your sizing on the website like I said before but I will say I, I think for if you're kind of in between the small and medium you might like the small better the medium is quite a bit bigger here's what I was saying about the pockets here they're at a pretty convenient place even if you're like, you know, standing out kind of chilling off the water, nice little hand warmer here or put a little snack or something in there. But it feels nice, it's got a lot of range of motion. And I don't feel trapped at all. I got to do my neck here. But yeah, I mean it feels just like any other dry suit you'd buy that's high quality, IR, Coquitat. I have used the Emperor before, which I'm going to go over. I have not actually used this one, but it's all pretty much the same materials except for the Emperor's reinforced. Great, great quality. I've had not any issues with leaking or anything like that over the past year. Excited to try this one out. I'm actually prefer the front zip myself. It's just a little easier to get on. Get on. If I'm doing a lot of play boating, I want the back zip just because this kind of will get in your way of your life jacket. But on a normal day, I actually do prefer the front zip over that. But since this one doesn't have the extra reinforcements, another reason why I might go with the Emperor on a day is like if I'm getting out filming a lot or climbing over rocks or maybe I'll have to walk a lot or hike, I'd want that extra material that's on the Emperor. But yeah, so you can get an idea of how this fits. Again, I'm about 5'9", 5'10", 155 pounds, 150 pounds, somewhere around there. And yeah, seems like it fits pretty well. Feels good, really breathable, feels nice. I have to say if one thing kind of rips or breaks on dry suits, it's typically the sock area. Because some people walk on rocks a lot. Make sure you're staying on something like this. Put one of these squares in your car, throw it out when you're changing. But this will typically be the area that, that rubs through on the bottom especially. But this is made out of three ply as well. It feels pretty thick. Not undamageable, undam but I don't think unless you step on something big or just wore it over time, I think it's pretty adequate. This is a back zip, so across the shoulder there. And you'll get in this a similar way. You'll step in here. Pull it up. So this is when a back zip can get kind of tricky. You don't have somebody with you. And again, you can put a little, little tag on this that kind of hangs out so you can grab it easier. But what you want, what I tend to do is grab the wrist right here so the jacket doesn't slip. You gotta be a little limber. All right, so I had my wife help me out on that, but I can get it done, but just for video purposes, quicker. But that is one thing to think about. If you if you can't get your shoulders or your arms, can't reach like that, that's definitely one thing you want to consider when going with the Odin or the Emperor. You know, like I said, the main differences of the two are this really thick material here, which you can definitely tell when you have it on especially. It's a lot thicker. I feel like I could just rub against a rock like that, no problem and it wouldn't hurt it. Same thing with the knees, and you know, if you're crawling around on rocks or if you did swim or something, that'd be a lot, a lot better protected there from their dry suit ripping or tearing or something like that. But it's all the same how you put it on, you know, you got your wrist gaskets here and your neck gasket and your shoes, which I'm not gonna even do, but same thing here, there's no pockets though. Um, same me mechanism pull and that tightens out real nice there you can tighten it there as well you do have a relief zipper just like the Odin which I didn't show before but that's nice so you don't have to take your entire dry suit off and then you got your pockets here of course I showed earlier which are I actually didn't know this existed I've had this for like a year and I just reading up on the stats and stuff of this and noticed it was on there so there you go you have a Emperor that is in there to warm your hands up. I can definitely feel this is a little hotter 
already just by being here. It's probably due to these thicker patches here. It's not as breathable. Same material overall, but it's just not as breathable um, since these patches are on there and on the shoulders. I can just tell it's a little hotter already. But it also feels a little, little stiffer, I'll say. And that's again due to that material. Kind of stiffens up the, the dry suit, but it fits the exact same pretty much overall. But again, depending on your day, what you want to choose. If you're doing more really hard white water where you're doing a lot of hiking, might have to get out of the boat, potentially a swim, definitely go with the Emperor. If you're doing lighter white water, class two, three, you're not getting out of your boat a lot and things like that, I would probably go with the Odin. It's $100 cheaper and it's going to hold up just as well, keep you dry. And it feels a little better than this. Like this just feels a little more confining and, and bigger and heavier overall. So. That's why it's kind of nice to have two, and also if you have two, you can have a dry one on the next day when it's really cold outside, so there you go. Yeah, so Emperor and Odin dry suits, check them out on CKS online, or go directly to the Level 6 website, you can check them out.